so far, we introduced you to toolset blocks and views integration with the WordPress block editor. Now it's time to take it to a whole new level with huge new features and great user experience. This includes custom search, front-end sorting controls, conditional display, container blocks, dynamic map markers coming from a view, styling and typography options for toolset blocks, and more. Let me quickly walk you through it. I will use a view, but all the new blocks and features are available inside templates as well. First, creating a view is easier than ever. And you can create custom searches in a completely visual way. The view editing area is now clearly marked with sections and buttons that help you use all the main features. For example, you design your custom search here at the top. Simply click the button to add a search field and select by what you want to filter by. Now, use the right sidebar to tweak all the options and settings for your custom search field. You can arrange your search fields in columns, style them, add search and reset buttons, and more. You can also allow visitors to sort the output order of your views. Just click to add sorting controls, select what to sort by, and tweak the settings. Another big addition is the new container block. It allows you to easily group blocks and style them together. Look, in our list of posts, we want each item to have a white background and some nice padding for the content. No problem, insert a container block and you can add a background, change typography and even nest container blocks inside each other. Now all we need to do is add our fields and adjust the styling to what we need. The next big feature you will love is the conditional block. Insert it into your designs and set conditions for displaying certain blocks. For example, we can display a special offer sign for posts that have this custom checkbox field selected. And now you can put any blocks inside the conditional block area. We put a button that says special offer and voila! On the front end, only posts that have this custom field checked will be marked as special offers. And last but not least, you can now add dynamic map markers based on a view's output. We insert a map block above our view and simply select for the marker source to be a view. And now, for example, we can change the marker icon and select what to display when hovering and clicking markers. Here's our map on the front end, with a list of markers coming from our view. Ok, before closing, let me show you two super quick tips that will help you design views and templates more easily. First, make sure to click the toolset icon at the top right corner of the block editor and enable the option to adjust editor maximum width. Look how the block editor switches to a wider mode, allowing you to work with the blocks more easily. And finally, use the block navigation button to easily navigate through your block hierarchy and find the exact block you want to edit. As you can see, more complex designs have a lot of elements to navigate through. And that's it! All the main features are now in place and it's the perfect time for you to try it out and tell us how it goes. Your feedback is extremely important to us so we can polish everything for the first production release. Thank you for watching.